Yes, that's top pigeon. And where did that come from? That one came, that grew from a whole mishmash of languages in, again, in the 19th century when people were being taken from the islands to go and work in other sugar plantations and so on, and there was a, a language that everybody could understand. Some of the words have origins in the Rabaul area in Ireland off the mainland, so a lot of words are Kuanua, which is their top place language. But there's also the words like Susu, which is Malay for milk. That's the same in Pidgin. So what languages have contributed to Pidgin? German, English, Malay. Chinese. Chinese. And some of the uh, Pacific Island languages. Um, and, and this is the everyday language in the towns? Yes. This is a, people will speak Pidgin rather than English. They'll speak English to if they've been educated. So when you were over there, did you learn to speak Pidgin? A little, yes. We used it in the markets and when we visited villages and did assessments and things. Can you give me some examples? It is uh, a language of a relatively small vocabulary. They have just one word for all the adverbs. Um, and this word is long, so that if one listens to an ordinary sentence, it is a, a succession of the word long, which takes some getting used to. And for example, Prince Charles's number one piccaninny belong Mrs Quinn. Which translated as the... Big child of Mrs Queen. Yes, the, elder, the first child. If you were introduced to someone who spoke just pidgin, how would you uh, speak to them? You might say, um, hello first, and then, what is your name? Colin, name belong you. Where are you from? Give me an example of a little conversation. Colin, name belong you. Name belong me, Stephen. You belong one in place. Me belong, place name belong him Cornwall. He stopped where? He stopped like England. Some words very German sounding. For example, house is house. A house, my house is house belong me. Um, grandmother is mama belong mama belong me. So it's very simple. We'll just read you a passage from, this is instructions for the operation of the emergency locator beacon. Sort of thing you would find in an aeroplane. And the instructions in English say, remove rubber plug, insert finger and push the rubber toggle switch downwards. In pigeon this reads, Suppose Balasi bugger up, you must work in dispola or something. Rouse him lit lit goomy, put him finger blong you, long hole, now swim, switch, ollie karam up him, long goomy, he go down. Work him old dispola something, time Balasi go bugger up. Bugger up is break up, break down. Balas is a bird, and that's what the first aeroplanes that people saw looked like birds, so they called them Balas.